Hi guys and welcome to another tutorial by Madison Studios. This one's just going to be recapping on an old tutorial of importing the Google Calendar into Adobe Muse. So to simply do that let's set up a basic website in Muse, file new and we'll just stick with the default settings of about a 960 width. And then the real world comes into when we go to Google. So if we don't click that arrow but if you actually click the black arrow located on the calendar you want to import go to calendar settings now if you want just a straight run-of-the-mill calendar you go to this option here embed this calendar but if you want to customize it you go to the link above and then that gives you options of changing the title the navigation buttons the width and height of the calendar and all of that is reflected within this source code now this one is obviously displaying my own personal calendar, but you obviously make the changes here. You can put in your own custom calendar title and just to make sure that this is reflected in the latest piece of source code. You either go to update HTML or you just click on another function and it sort of updates it as it goes along, which is great. So to show you how it updates as it goes along, we're going to change from 800 to 1024. At the moment, the old source code is reading, where is it? There we go, width 800. Click somewhere else and it's reflected now, 1024, and also the preview down the bottom also updates. But I think our website was about 900, 960, something like that. So let's make it 900. You can change your color and also what calendar you want to display so say you don't want your personal calendar broadcasted over the website or internet uh, you can choose a sort of business one if you want once you've done that click update make sure you're copying the latest source code select everything copy it right click copy object insert HTML because obviously we're working with HTML it's a beautiful piece of code and everything works with HTML on the web well you've got JavaScript and all that but anyway in Muse insert HTML and then you line everything up so that it uh, works within the layout of your of your website you know just like you would do a normal page layout or whatever so let's see how that's reflected actually if it were to go live on the web so at the moment what it's doing is it's referencing back to Google and saying hold on a second what am I displaying and then it brings it in. So basically it's like a holding frame where it says the calendar should appear here and stuff. So I hope you found that helpful and uh, hopefully catch you next time. See ya. Bye.